Open up black windows once you go down You must be crazy if you think that I'ma slow down I wanna hear it talking shit from the drama Keep it coming up and since you took your mama It's the whip, 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 the gun down Dropping bodies in the place till sun down Can't fuck with you, don't even try to put the fucking blue to fly I'm the last one to die Like, subscribe, and share Follow us on the Patreon or the YouTube membership Y'all, my deck is now in the Etsy virtual shop So go ahead and check that out The link is in the description box below What is up you guys? Thank you so much for being a part of my channel. I really and truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. Y'all, we are doing a, um, a deck, a few deck giveaways uh, this month. Thank you so much for y'all's patience with me getting these readings out because I didn't expect for January. I, and I should have, you know, I fell off. Okay, I fell off. I didn't expect for January 1st to be so busy, even though I have a whole kid's birthday on January 1st. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and get into y'all's reading. We're see what you guys need to know on Thursday. What do you need to know on Thursday? <laughs> That's really weird how those fell out. I'm going to put them back in because there's way too many. If they come out again, I'll take them. We got plans. Sugar and spice, everything nice, and the cleanup crew is coming in on Thursday, recognizing something that has gone on and needing to get it back under control. Y'all, some of y'all may have started, I, I got a random message about stones, okay? There may be certain stones or crystals that you have been carrying in this time that's bringing things up from the past that need to have a more solid structure or they need to be fixed. They need to be handled as something that can't really be swept under the rug. I feel like um, for some of you, you're. I'm seeing somebody find it in a washing machine, to be completely honest with you. It's like, I don't know if you're doing the laundry or whatever, but it's like you're hearing something tap, 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 tap. You go see what it is, and it's the stone, <laughs> okay? And you're over here wearing, I don't know if this is a stone that you've been wearing. You may be kind of wondering why is this why is this coming up to be addressed now like of all the times for this to come up why is it coming up now i feel like that's what's going on on thursday but i feel like you are bringing order or structure to a specific dynamic this could definitely be at work okay it's like you've learned some kind of like major heard life lessons you've learned a lot of major life lessons and i feel like you are um learning how to Get a specific person to, I guess, follow specific guidelines and structures that maybe they were getting around in the past. For some of you, you may have, you know, had to learn how to actually be manipula manipulative. Some of you are not manipulative people. For some of you, you feel like that takes a lot out of you to have to get somebody to act right. On Thursday, I feel like you have come up with a plan that is going to work perfectly, okay? I really feel like you have worn some kind of stone or you've uh, you've manifested something to come out, okay, to bring something to a head so that it can be, hey, that's gross, <laughs> bring it to a head so it can be popped, bring it to, something needs to be closed out, and it's like it's something that is, I heard it's gross, it's dirty, it's something that you don't want to deal with, maybe it's a person, um, I feel like you have learned how to deal with a specific bothersome person who possibly either runs and tells your business or constantly tries to make it to where you're having to struggle to get to the next level or you're always in some kind of power struggle or power dynamic with this person there's something that's coming out on thursday that's allowing you to maneuver a little bit more peacefully um like if you were having issues um with dealing with a specific person because it looked like all week i don't know if it's the same person but i feel like there's either the same situation or same person but you and a lot of different people are viewing that person in the same way like y'all all together are on the same page with a specific person that can't be trusted the fact that i keep seeing like the seven of swords all week there's something that you are having to come through and handle and it's like you're feeling like i wish i didn't have to do this i wish i could just turn the other cheek but you're being put in a situation to where you're going to have you're not you're not trying to choose uh war or any kind of battle 
It looks like you want to choose peace. I heard you want to choose yourself. And there's somebody here who's going to be forcing your hand or who has forced your hand. But what's crazy is they do this. Like, th that's kind of who this person is. They they force people's hands um, in specific things that maybe they don't want to even be involved in. Um, and I feel like you are, I don't know if you've been working on your balance, like working on balancing, working on your solar plexus chakra. But there's something about like somebody coming and trying to poke at you in this time is not going to end well for them it's because you have hit another level of mastery within yourself and i feel like there is somebody who is about to try you or somebody who has been trying you but it's all coming out in the wash it has to happen for it to be observed okay if you are wondering when a, a specific person is coming in with another attempt to kind of like uh, wreck your plans. Yeah, it, that's definitely around the corner with a specific person. It's like they can't, it's almost like they can't stop. I don't know what's going on with this person, but it's like they can't stop. It's all they think about, or it's like they plan to do certain things. But it's like, what's crazy is I don't feel like you're the only person that they're doing this to. So I feel like there could possibly be a meeting going on on Thursday where everybody's getting on the same page. Um, about a specific person and how to handle or maneuver around the situation. Yeah, there is very important talks. It's like you're not the only person that this person has done this to. I feel like they are like a walking joke as well. Um, this is somebody here who is constantly running an interference or disturbance possibly through, um, I'm going to say slander, okay? Deceptive, nefarious are the words that were coming in. Um. <laughs> But it's something that you're, it's like you've been trying to, look, wanting to hold your breath, wanting to say, to not speak on something, but you're not going to be able to do it anymore. It's like coming up for air. I feel like you may have taken all that you're willing to take, but what's crazy is you're not the only person. I feel like there is somebody else who is dealing with the same thing from a specific person. And I don't know if this is at work where it's like everybody's having to come into a meeting to get on the same page, but there's definitely something that's being really written up or maybe you're going to see this person getting written up at their job um look is this something that they're going to be able to get around is this something that the other person's going to be able to get around because it looks like a lot of different people is this something that this person is going to be able to get around I see under that was way too many that came out but i've got under <laughs> they were hiding from the communication but now they're ready to talk they're ready to play. Yeah. Okay. Um, they're about to try to look shady gossip coming in too. Okay. So there is some kind of like shady gossip coming in. Um, I feel like it's a person who's been possibly doing something for quite some time, but this person has made an enemy of a lot of different people. Um, they're about to do something or to try to send something your way uh to piss you off i feel like you need to get ready and be ready to defend yourself or defend your ground stand your ground some of y'all have been learning a lesson in standing your ground and how to deal with people it's like you want to be super sweet or you want to be super nice but there's somebody here who's kind of forcing your hand and i feel like um you're in communication with all the people that you need to be to be able to master the situation um let's see what else do you need to know about this person what's this person's next what are they about to do how is this person about to come at you? The Seven of Swords. Whatever it is, it's going to be shocking. It may show up at your job. Okay. It's, about, it's at the job. It's at the job. What are they about to do? What is this person about to do? Put in for a promotion. This is something that you're going to have to stand your ground with. Because I see that you don't want to. I feel like we got nine of wands earlier in this week. Like it's a thing that has um, possibly been circling around you constantly. That you feel like, you know, like if you were telling people you were going to put in for a specific job, title, job, position. And I feel like, you know, people have been kind of listening or, you know, not necessarily wanting to let you know that, oh, well, if you're going to go for that, I'm going to go for that too. Okay. Oh, you think you're going to do that? They've gotten the news that you're going to do something. So they're going to try to do it before you do. I feel like Thursday, um, somebody's trying to initiate something to where they get it before you do, or if they go after it before you do, they'll get it. There's something, there's something like about a game. That somebody's playing at your job. And it's like, you know, 
this is a new opportunity that's coming in specifically for you. There is somebody who's trying to contracept this. They're trying to keep you from being able to get this opportunity. I feel like it's something that's coming in for you, but it's there's about to be some kind of like test to see how much you actually want it. Like, are you willing to fight for whatever this is? Are you willing to, you know fight for this opportunity i feel like there's somebody here who you may be possibly going head to head with that it's like why would you even apply for this position that's not what you wanted you just applied for this because you knew i was wanted to be or i don't know it's like you only got involved in this career because you knew i wanted to do this okay so there may be some kind of like pettiness that's going on, on thursday but i feel like if you're worried about like securing the bag or securing your title i don't feel like you're gonna have an issue no you're not gonna have an issue with that because it's rightfully yours or it's already meant for you you are gonna get wish fulfillment with the situation but it's like you're being put in um an uncomfortable i heard unfortunate <laughs> unfortunate or uncomfortable situation to see how bad you want something Okay, to see how bad you actually want the job or how bad you actually want the, you know, title, whatever this is. Um, it, it's feeling like, I heard cats out of the bag. I feel like you're going to be shocked by the fact that this person is trying to go for whatever this is. But it's like they're only even putting in for this position or title to see if they can get it before you do. Somebody keeps putting themselves in competition with you in this time. And I feel like the next move is going to be yours. All right. Um, so anyways that is what i have got for you guys on thursday thank you so very much and i will see you guys later bye